Here are my husband's signature colognes and these are the fragrances that he wears the most. So I thought I would introduce Mate and invite him on this channel so he can talk Hi. to you about which fragrances he's obsessed with. By the way, this is my channel. Uh, my name is Monica, this is my husband Mate and on this channel I talk about colognes for men. So if you love colognes and if you want to smell amazing, subscribe and press that notification bell button. And now, Let's, let's jump into it. Let's get to the first one. And this is Tom Ford Oud Wood. Guys, you've yeah. heard about this one, I'm sure. This is amazing, dry and very masculine fragrance. It makes me feel like, like I've got everything sorted in my life. <laughs> like this is really, really masculine fragrance. I've got many compliments when I was uh, wearing this one. Mm -hmm. um, even during pandemic when we were not so, when we are still not so like, you know, social. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, people were still, well, got yeah, compliments. Yeah, I was still <laughs> getting compliments. People were telling me like, that this smells amazing. What, what are you wearing? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so that's the first one. I love that one. Another so. one, the Blazing Mr. Sam from, uh, from this company called <laughs> like this <laughs> from this company and it's uh, this one is a bit softer mm -hmm. I use this one when I feel like I, I was even thinking about my signature scents like it's tough for me to pick six my six signature scents because there is much more that I love from here and you guys actually know if you watched the, the previous videos when I was talking about like mm -hmm. Black Iris Interlude which I love so much and, uh, so and a few other fragrances that I decided I will not put on this list but they could be here mm -hmm. because I, I love them so much so anyway this is another one which is it smells a bit softer, it's a bit more yeah. co coconutty, mm -hmm. and I like uh, praying myself with this one when I want to feel cozy. This literally, to me, when I smelled it just now, it yeah. smells like your sweater. Oh, really? Like it smells <laughs> like a so cashmere good. sweater. Uh -huh. It does smell very cozy and very like soft and mm. soothing. Mm -hmm, exactly. But it's not. It's not like a sweet bomb. It's no, subtly no. sweet, mm -hmm. but it's just woody sweet. Mm, it's actually, so good. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this one. And it's got such a good spray as well. Oh, this is. And a but bottle. this one is also quite luxurious as well. Mm. But subtly, it's not like this. Yeah, it's not too much. It's not like too in your face. Mm -hmm. That's why it could be your signature scent because you can wear it every day. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's yeah, more versatile. Really, Vista really unique. nice. Another one is it's Tedemas. Ah, oh, another dry fragrance. Another very. This one is very classy. Would you say? Yeah, that one is extremely classy. And yeah. somebody on my Instagram when I posted, by the way, Monica and this called your self-promotion. Self-promotion, it's your, it's your channel. <laughs> but uh, when I posted a photo of this one, somebody said that it uh, smells like jungle after the rain or something. And I like that. Uh -huh. it, it, it smells kind of Interesting. very natural and it smells kind of like wet ground and mm -hmm. rain and this minerality in the air yeah. it smells beautiful vetiver scent classy just timeless this one perfect like in 500 years it's still going to be around <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, literally you can't destroy it uh, yes it's uh, it's so good it's amazing another one also you're still in this classy realm and by the way do you want to see uh, me comparing different versions of Terre de Mets? let me know down in the comments because I'm wondering whether sh I should do a video like this thank you thank you thank, thank, you. thank, thank you for, for sharing <laughs> thank you for talking <laughs> we're still in this class uh, classic realm and um, this is also one of the classic kings I'm gonna say that's how I'll call it that's Creed Royal Oud. Yeah. I mean, whoop, whoop, whoop. There are oh. there some, some Creed Royal Oud fans there. This is so good. Mm. I want to spray like every single fragrance today. Because <laughs> it's so good. You described it in, in a, 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 one of your Polish videos, what you did now recently. I'm but it's, it smells like like money it smells like old scottish like mansion or palace or something like that yeah like a manor like, it smells like old money like like the family or the surroundings that they they just have loads of money mm. security from generations. yeah from generations there's like security there they don't have to go to work because they have so much like wealth mm -hmm. Mm. And it smells like this. This smells super luxurious, and it's one of the better fragrances from Creed to me. For me, this uh, yeah, this might, this just... is number one for me from Creed. Mm. It's better than Aventus. Yeah, uh, it's just it's for different uh, different it's totally occasions. Totally different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's nothing like Aventus. 
It's just complete no, opposite. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Another fragrance, uh, designer shelf. The last two are designer shelf, and this is Dolce Gabbana Pour Homme. This is a scent of me. That's how I smell. This is this is like my early adulthood. And tell a story why you bought this fragrance in the first place. Okay, I bought this fragrance <laughs> because there was this guy when I was. 20, 19 years old, there was this guy who I knew who had like loads of money. He, and he was driving. He was driving BMW <laughs> 8 Series, you know, the classic but now but sport, uh, sports car. There was only one BMW 8 in Poland back then. Like, can you imagine? Like just one car. <laughs> and that guy had it. And then that, that guy had it. And what fragrance did he wear? Dolce Gabbana Poram, you know, the old version with a sticker on and it, it, it indeed smelled better, I admit, because I know that there are guys going to be commenting like, you yeah. should try the one with the sticker. Yes, I've tried it yeah. and that, that, was, that one was better, but this one is still good. That's why I fell in love with this fragrance, because this reminds me of that dude who is just, who is, who's got money, who's got success <laughs> and he is the man. Like, yeah. And <laughs> you were like, how did you even And he was see? so extra, I, oh, he was so extroverted and I, I was like, you wanted to be like yeah, him. I wanted to be like him. <laughs> All the, even though I'm like introverted and I'm never going to be like him <laughs> now I don't want to be like him but anyway yeah. but it's a scent that is your signature like yeah. when I think about a fragrance that you've worn the longest it's probably this one mm -hmm. and the last one it's Mont Blanc Explorer uh, guys if you're looking for a ver versatile all year round no brainer Compliment, compliment, and crowd, crowd pleasing uh, fragrance. That's the one. It's it's that's it's what so it good. is. It, it is crowd pleasing. Everybody will love this. It's not that you're gonna spray yourself with Explorer and people will be like, I don't like your fragrance. Oh, it, it, that's impossible. It's very likable. But it's not like a fragrance that is also like. Oh my gosh, it smells so different. What is it? No, it's, it's just a super good smelling fragrance that you kind of smelled before. You smelled similar fragrances, but. It's just done in such a good way. Mm -hmm. Give Mati a thumbs up for this video. We'll link all the fragrances down in the pinned comment for you guys so you can check them out. And let us know what is your signature scent uh, that you love and maybe we'll get some ideas. And maybe we'll, we'll review them uh, for you in the future. But for now, thank you <laughs> for being on this channel. Thank, thank you for, for sharing me. everything. Thanks. And we'll see you all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>